Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Tuck, and today I will be talking with you all about some of my work um, on decentralized multi-agent path planning that I'm working on with Yash Pant. So the setting for this project is looking at disjoint networks between agents that occur because agents only have line of sight communication capabilities. So for example, if we're looking at this setting on the screen with the four agents um, and focusing on the black agent, black agent can only see the purple agent. So the purple agent is the only one that's in its yellow line of sight region, assuming that all of these bluish regions are obstacles. So this then creates communication networks, like shown on the right, where black can communicate with purple and then also can communicate with green because purple can see green, but it can't communicate with orange because it can't see orange, nor can any of the other agents that it's connected to. So they're completely unable to communicate with, the, with one another, but we still want them to be able to start at their starting positions, these filled in circles, and end at their gold positions, the not filled in circles, and do so safely. So I'm trying to propose an algorithm that will solve this specific problem um, that is in general something I haven't seen solved in the literature. However, there are a lot of algorithms that deal with uh, path planning for multiple agents, and there are also a couple of decentralized ones, and we'll be using one of these decentralized algorithms as our base. And this algorithm is called Decentralized Multi-Agent Rapidly Exploring Random Trees. Um, and it assume, does assume complete information about other agents. So it assumes all agents can somehow communicate with all other agents. Um, and each agent starts with their individual initial feasible path, which could just be them staying at the same position for all time. That may not actually reach the goal, but that's fine. Um, it'll, they'll be safe if they're staying at the same position, initial position. And then they have an individual RRT that they use for their path planning. So because they're using the RRT, it's relatively fast. Um, and this RRT also takes into account the other agent's positions as moving obstacles. If you want to know a little bit more about this algorithm, this is the actual algorithm, or you can look at the paper, which is referenced here. But we'll be using this as our base. Another thing we need in order to do this and assure safety is a delta obstacle. So the way we define a delta obstacle is by taking each obstacle, so this region here in red, and augmenting it with this creamish region that is where every point in this creamish, creamish region is less than or equal to delta away from the outer edge of the obstacle in the infinite norm. And the reason we need to augment all obstacles with this shape is that if an agent avoids a delta obstacle, then the moment they see another agent, they will be at minimum two delta away from that agent. And we can look at that with A2 and B2 here. When they're right on the edge of this delta obstacle and can just barely see each other because the line that connects them just barely touches or doesn't touch the edge of this obstacle, they'll be at minimum two delta away from one another. And so if they have a defined interagent constraint, so long as we define the delta obstacle to be half of that interagent constraint, we'll remain safe even if they can't see each other. So now taking that base and the delta obstacle idea, we can create a proposed algorithm that will be safe. For this proposed algorithm, we're going to take each subgraph, so that grouping of agents that can communicate with one another, and go ahead and initialize DMA RRT. Then we're going to have each algorithm just work like normal, so that it'll define some waypoints, have the agents track those waypoints, and then update their trees as they go along. However, the moment one agent sees a new agent that's not part of its subgraph, it needs to stop immediately. And if all the agents are avoiding obstacles with this delta distance, then when they stop immediately, they'll still be safe. They'll still be fulfilling their interagent constraints. And once they see that new agent, they now have a new subgraph that includes that new agent. 
and can now reinitialize DMA RRT, which has its own guarantee of safety and can continue on moving towards their final goal. So in summary, I've presented on a multi-agent path planning algorithm that's decentralized, accounts for obstacles, and also accounts for situations where agents can only communicate with other agents that they can see via line of sight visibility. And we're able to show that this, is, this algorithm is safe. This is current work, and hopefully it'll be published soon. So I hope you all take a look when it is. Thank you.